Max, how you doing? How's it going, mi hermano? Everything's okay, I believe. That's good to how hear, about Max. You? How about oh, you? You know, feeling really, really happy. I bought some, I bought some seeds, so that I can plant them and get habanero chiles. Do you eat? <laughs> do you eat? Do you eat habanero chiles? Do you eat chili? In general, yeah, I love habanero chiles. Habanero, man. But how can I explain that? Mm, I bought them uh, at the at the supermarket. And they are like adobados. Oh, okay. All right. They are well, delicious. They are, man. I, I, you know, I, I did the same thing. I bought some red habaneros. And, you know, there's different colors, right? There's yellow. And then there's, I, there's some purple ones. There's some uh, red ones. And so my sister has a, had a little tree of red habaneros red habaneros my friend gave me some seeds for the yellow ones and yeah, the i dark, bought the, the spicy they're really really hot man oh. they are really really hot and i i have purple um, yeah purple on plants right now but they are what we call uh, green peppers or I don't oh, know. Oh, green pepper. Yeah, green peppers. You can say green peppers. Well, in, in 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 reality, they're all peppers, right? So the green peppers are called bell peppers. Bell peppers. Bell peppers. Yeah, you can say bell peppers or you can say green peppers. Green peppers. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to refer to the chilies, right? You can say hot peppers. The spicy ones. The spicy ones. Now, if you know the name of the spicy ones, then you could use the names. Like, for example, uh, what is it? Let me see. Well, the ones that we know, Chiltepe, right? Chiltepe? Yeah. I think that's what it's called, Chiltepe. And then there's another one that's called Pico de Gallo. Pico de Gallo. Pico de Gallo, you could say it like that. There's another one called A.H., I don't know if I you ever know those ones. You haven't heard that one? No. Oh, and, and Max, there's the really strong ones. There's a new one that's really uh you told me that you had that you had watched Netflix, right? Yeah, I watched that at that show. Did you watch the one where they eat the ghost peppers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so they that, have that one. One of those guys, one of those guys who ate that pepper had a are a terrible running nose. Oh yeah, they're like that. Hello. It was like a waterfall. It was crazy. I I saw that. I saw that, and I you know what? I fell in love with just maybe being able to grow those types of chilies and then being able to sell it. There's people who like it, man. But this, I understood that they are not uh, like natural. Well, yeah, no, no, no. They make them. However, the seeds you can buy, and now you can grow it yourself. So, Max, if you ever find any of those, please keep your teacher in mind. Y me conseguí ahí un parcito de. All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Tell me, hello, Iris. Hello, Raf. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, let me see. We are in week number four. Week number four. We are on day number two. We have two days left. And we transition to the new module. And you guys are going to be absolutely outstanding in the new module. I can already you want tell. to be the teacher there? Max, you know, they, they, well, they cycle us through. For example, I had, before, before getting this class, I had two basic classes. So they gave oh. me two basic classes, and then they gave me a, a, a intermediate class. Well, no, you guys are advanced. 
pretty advanced. You guys have, yeah, that's, man, you guys should see. Um, I had a couple of uh, students from basic that were sent to pre-advanced by mistake. And oh my goodness, they, it was, they felt really bad because even though we don't feel that advanced, we actually are, Max. So you guys should, yeah, 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 you, yeah, know, you're right. yeah you're right. you you guys are pretty advanced, man. Really good though. That's really good. That's really good. Humilde, humilde hasta la, ¿verdad? Humilde hasta la muerte. Okay, give the rest of the class a couple minutes and we'll stop and ask you guys, how are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling? How was your day as an overall question? Jarvin Miranda, hello. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello. Good evening. Remember, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, 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 sorry. You got it. You got it. All right. How was how was your day in general? In general, oh, well, my day was all busy. I have a lot of work the last day, so but I am good. I am a little tired, but I am fine. I am with my family right now. I took a dinner a few minutes, so I am so good. Nice. That's that's always good. That's always good. Too. All right. Well, that's that's really good. Hello, Daniela. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right. And then our question that we usually ask, how are you guys doing on the platform? How's it going with the platform? Any certificates? Max, did you get your certificate, sir? No, I'm stuck at 90. 92%. 92%. But that's that's good. I, you know, I asked about the certificate not appearing, and they say that it has to do with uh, the website. So I don't think it has to do with, with you guys doing something. It has to do with the website. So don't worry there. Um, have you requested the certificate through WhatsApp or by email? Because you can, remember? You guys can. So, anybody has I will anybody? Try tomorrow. All right, try it out. Try it out and keep me posted, Max. Has anybody requested their certificate and received it? Anybody with a certificate already? Rafa, okay, not yet, not yet. Okay, hopefully, hopefully we can get that going either tomorrow or the next day. I'm gonna keep putting a little bit of pressure as well. Trying to see if we can help you from our side. Let's hope that we are able to do it. All right, in regards to the platform, Section number four. I remember seeing something on WhatsApp about a knowledge check. I think it was 4.5, 4.4, 4.5. Do you guys remember that? Let me see, let me see if I can get that. I think somebody brought it up. Or is there anybody here that had issues with the knowledge checks? No, no issues with the... Somebody I have issues, it. but the final part, the final exam. Is the final exam? Section C. You know what? I think we might be able to look at real quick just to make sure that we are that you are going to get it done. I have some serious problems there. Okay. Well, I don't think it was four point. Let me see. What is it? Four point four point four. Any anyone problems with knowledge check four point four? 
No. All right. Let's see. 4.4 is a little bit longer than most of the ones that we had. Hello, Adeline. Hello. Teacher, yes. I have a 84, 85% in, in this course, but I have problem with the um, uh, topic uh, 5.3. 5.3. Yes, I okay. have. No, no, it's four, four point eight. Four point. I cannot. Eight. All right. I cannot. Okay, let me go ahead and share my screen for you guys. We're gonna quickly review it, and then we're gonna go into our exercises, right? I don't want to take up so much time, but I do want to make sure that you guys, if if you know, if it's a couple of things that are missing, I want to make sure that we get it. Um, I was I well I was doing 4.4. I'm still missing a couple no. from 4.4. So let me go ahead here. Let me move. 4.7 is the listening exercise. Everybody okay with that one, right? 4.6 is just the lesson objective. 4.7 is defining undefining relative clauses. 4.8. Eight, yes. And here we are. A foreign, and so let's see, instructions. Read the following sentences, add the non-defining relative clause in parentheses to the sentences. Remember to use commas for the non-defining relative clauses and a period at the end. So let's see here. The example is a foreign correspondent travels all over the world who writes about events in other countries so then we had to change that to a foreign correspondent comma who writes about events in other countries comma travels all over the world dot verdad ahí punto it's done and that is the example to follow. Okay. So then they kind of already gave you number one. So here, have you guys tried typing everything in? A foreign correspondent travels. Yeah, you have to do comma, a foreign comma, correspondent. Who writes. Who writes. Who writes about events in other countries, comma. About comma, events in other We need another comma. Travels. Travels all over the world. All over the world. All right, okay. and we have the dot, okay. right? So let me go ahead and put that one on there, see if it comes. Okay, so yeah. So look okay. at what you have to do. So you have to kind of rewrite it. Remember to use the commas and the little space. And then at the end, you have to use the dot. So they're okay, asking you to come. Good. Okay, all right. So that one is 4.8, right? We're gonna leave it like that. Move over to the reading practice, which is 4.9. And then this one, they only, they only they only request for you to read it. Section five. Somebody mentioned section five? No, no, right? No, I, it's I don't know. The, okay. So we're actually going to skip it, how I how I do. Okay, no worries. We can we can always help out. Let me see five point one, and then it, we're going to go all the way to the final exam. And Max, you you were in the third one, correct? Yes. So A B. See, let me see. 
And there's A, there's D. What? Hold on. Gave me an error. Okay. So section A, we were able to complete, right? D is the reading exercise. And I think B is the write the words. Oh, they, they're, they're all over the place. All right, Max, I are you, is it, is it A, B, C, or D? C. Let me, let me check. I think it might be C, A, B, C. Yeah, it is C. All right. And then it says, join the sentences with who or that make any changes as we're needed okay make any changes where needed example tv sitcoms feature actors they are recognized by viewers around the world all right tv sitcoms feature actors who are recognized by viewers around the world okay a newspaper clerk has to do a lot of research he or she is often a new to journalism a newspaper clerk who is often new to journalism has to do a lot of research. All right, okay. So let's use this one, a gaffer. Now, does it say that we have to read, that we have to write everything? Let me see, join the sentences with who or that. Make any changes where needed. So I'm thinking we have to write the whole thing. A gaffer. has to carry has to carry out the lighting design okay he or she works on a movie or tv crew hmm so we got to change a few things here. Let's see. He or she works on a movie or TV crew. And we got the dot. Okay. All right. So we have to get rid of some stuff and we have to do some we have to do some switching around, right? A gaffer Let me see. A gaffer is Raf You're supposed to use who or that. Well, okay. So a gaffer. We have to. Yeah, we have. We have to switch it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that one. So now, hold on. The thing is that we can't see it all. We have to. We have to switch it. You guys remember we gotta take the the back end and we have to switch it around a little bit let me see here if i can get I'm trying to see if maybe we can use let me see all right Okay. Well, it didn't work out, right? <laughs> All right, so here it is. Here's the whole sentence. Okay. 
a gaffer is a so what you're saying so this is what we have to do you guys see how we have to switch it around look at the examples that we have and look at what we have to do so let's use the example of the newspaper a newspaper clerk has to do a lot of research he or she is often new to journalism and then so the changed version is a newspaper clerk who is often new to journalism who is often, often new to journalism has to do a lot of research so a gaffer who carries is that what you were saying max a gaffer who works who works on movies or TV crews a gaffer who works on movies or TV crews Is the person that? No. How can we do it? A gaffer who works on movies or TV crews is in charge? No. TV crews. Let me see. A gaffer. Can we use a gaffer that works? On, ah, we can use it like that. What do you guys think? A gaffer. That works on movies or TV cr crews. Hmm. Teacher, I was having yes. problems. I was trying now and it's. I wrote in that way I send you. I guess that is the correct way. Let me see. Let me. Did you get it? Was it correct? Yes. Now, now I was trying also because I was having problems. Okay. So we, yeah, yeah, we were, you know, we were working on it. Tell me. I think we were in the right track. Let me see. Ah, okay. So I see what I see what we did here. A gaffer, then did you put it and did you get a green check mark? Yes. Okay. If you want, you can try it. A gaffer has to carry, well, you already have it, sorry. A gaffer has to carry out the, the, the lightning design. He or she works on a movie TV crew. Well, you know, any commas or anything like that that it needs? No. Mira, me salió. Yes, comma. A gator, comma. So there was, there was, there was a, there was a, there was a yeah, right? Oops, okay, so hold it. So it's, este de aquí es un gaffer. Gaffer. What gaffer. is a gaffer? Gaffer, son los, have you guys ever seen have you guys ever seen the people when they're filming a movie and there's a guy with a microphone? Yes. Okay, so the guy with the microphone, that's the sound man. Or he's in charge of the sound, right? The guy in charge of the lights, well, that's the gaffer. But but it's a little bit more than that. Porque he has to put the umbrellas and then the lights and then any any fixture that needs to be put on a set, he is the one that does it. All right, so a gaffer and then comma has to carry out the lightning design. Comma, verdad? Uh, I wrote in the chat a gaffer, comma, 
who works on a movie or TV crew, Oma, has to carry out the light in the sun. All right, let's put it like that. Espérate que, espérate, creo que me está, me está troleando. Let's try it again. I swear that, that I try like that. It could, you know what happens? Remember, Max, that the, sometimes it has to do with the website. Uh, I put it the wrong place. Ah. Something's missing. A gaffer, comma, who works on a movie or TV crew, comma, has to carry out the lighting design. Ah. So the first one we've used. Did that one work? Let's see. Ah. All right, let's try to let's try to figure out. Let's work it. Let's work it. Let's look at the examples again. And tell me, did you put it on the website and it, 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 did it come out okay or or Yes. Can I show you that screen? Yeah, you know what? It might be my Give me one second. Let's see. Let's. I'm gonna stop sharing mine. Is that you already? Yes. This is section five. Wow. And one. Okay. All right. You know what? I was putting it in the in the wrong one. Okay. All right. I only have this one. Okay. So that's the <laughs> that's the only good one. Yeah. All right. All right. But that's good. That's good. That's why we, you know that's why we're working. Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, what's, oh, I see, it didn't work. All right, let's try this one. I have number four. You have number four? Let's use number four. Put it on the chat, Max, please. Okay. Yeah, we got it. We got number one. So it's this one here for everybody. We'll leave it like this. Let's see, we have it on the chat. Let me see. So this one is number four. I already have number, I already had number three. I just send the meshes. So this one is number one. Um, I just copy paste number four. And then this one's number three. All right. And then we have number four. I don't have number three. No, no, that's the one that I had. And so you just put number four. Yeah, baby, yeah. So this is going to be number four. All right, we need number two. Let's see, number two says dialogue editors are sound technicians. They specialize in editing film scripts. Dialogue editors or sound technicians. Who specialize in editing? This one would be number two. Mm -hmm. 
Move it a little bit. Ah. Let's see, how can we... A dialogue editor Hmm. No, is it? dialogue editors are sound technicians. that specialize a dialogue editor is no right a dialogue editor we can use a and r But we can kind of is a sound technician that specializes that specialize in editing film scripts. Hmm. What do you guys think? Do you guys see anything better than that? Anything better we can do? No, a dialogue editor. What else can we do? A dialogue editor or dialogue editors. Maybe that's what's going on. How about we leave it like that? No. Let's see. I think we might need to use that or no. Who? No. All right, what else can we do? Dialogue editors who are sound technicians? Ah. Uh. that specialize in editing film scripts. How about that? No. Oh, we're getting closer. What do you guys think? What do you guys come up with anything? Do you guys see anything that we can do? And in number three. Number three, number three is the property master. A property master is responsible for writing prompts that are handled by the actors. 
That's what I wrote. Try that one. But nothing happens. Have you tried? Check the spelling uh, and the spaces. A property master that. Oh, you guys couldn't see my screen? I can't see your screen. Can you see my screen? Can't. Can't. Man, I'm so sorry about that. Okay. You guys can see the PowerPoint presentation, right? All right, so look, look, so you already have two. What, what did you get for two, Max? We're, we're trying to get two and five. I think Raf said that he was trying number five. He already, he already had number five. I don't, I don't, I didn't understand. Let's see. Dialogue editor does dialogue editors are sound technicians who specialize in editing film scripts hmm so all we added was the who there's no commas or anything like that Let's see. All right. Uh, yeah, we got number two. So one, two, three, four, missing five. There it is. Ah, we can leave it like that. There's no problem. So number four, number five says, Terrible este, I hate these apples. Okay, number five, it says, executive producers aren't involved in shooting a film. They are responsible for the budget. Okay. So we already have one, two, three, four, number five, executive producers. So if we follow, kind of follow like the guideline, right? We could use that. You know what? It's weird because number two doesn't use any commas. Two and three, don't, they don't have commas, but four and one, they do. Executive producers. I think we might need it here. Let's see, executive producers. Oh. Who? But then we would need a comma, right? Executive producers. <laughs> Who are responsible? Executive producers who are responsible for the budget. Involve, we're missing the this portion, so we have to put it in there that are involved in shooting a film? No, it would have to be the whole thing, right? Aren't involved in shooting the film. Aren't. Hmm? Well, that one came out a little bit better.
How do you guys think this one looks? It kind of follows, look, it follows what this one is doing. I gave her comma, executive producers comma, and then we took the last portion and we put it here, who are responsible for the budget, aren't involved in shooting a film. What do we got? What do we have? I tried it, but it did not work. Rafa, hmm, let's double check on that one. Hold on. All right, let me go ahead and unshare and share my whole screen with you guys. Can you guys see my, my screen? PowerPoint and the knowledge. All right, I haven't tested this one yet. Let me go ahead and test it. We're gonna copy it, paste it. So far we've been doing pretty bad. Oh, we got it. That's it. Teacher, I don't know what, what is the number. Okay. The exercise, because the I, exercise? I, I did all, but I don't. You don't remember this one? Okay. No, this one, remember. this one, Adeline, is from the final exam. I finished the exam, but I didn't find that I see. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then, then, you know, we can, you can review it. Just double check and see where that is at. Okay. So this is, this is the way that it came up. We have one a gaffer comma who works on a movie or TV crew comma has to carry out the lighting design. Then number two, three, four, and then the last one was five, which was executive producers comma who are responsible for the budget comma aren't involved in a sh in shooting a film. I think that's the only thing. Max, were you able to get all check marks? Uh, I'm working on a cell phone, so it's kind of difficult to write okay. it right. correctly, but I think I'm just missing number five. I'm going to take a screenshot from my on my phone, and then I'm going to post it on the WhatsApp to help you guys out. Let me see if I can get my, let me see if I can get my phone. Hold on. Oh, man. All right, screenshot, let me see. And I'm gonna put it right there, right now. Hey, this is the first time I use my cell phone with you guys, let me see. I think we can get the whole picture, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there you go. Oh my goodness. All right. I sent it. I sent it out to you guys. All right. So hopefully it helps out. And then that's pretty much it for, well, that was the final, right? Final exam. Section five. And that was pretty much it. All right. So going going back to the platform. I'm gonna go all the way back to the videos. Let me see here. There was one that we needed to, no, we already did that one. Give recommendations. How come it seems so so similar? Hmm. Questions and opinions. Well, no, these are, you know what? I think we might've gone way too ahead. I'm going to go back to 4.5. I think that's where we left off. I'm sorry about that, guys. I was thinking we were already on section five.
the passive. This is the one I wanted to touch base with you guys. So real quick, if you guys haven't seen the video, let me go back here. A little bit. I have a yes. question. Yes, yes, ma'am. How many percent I need in order to obtain my diploma? Because I have a, a, um, 80, 85 and my diploma is not, he is not in the platform. Okay, you only need 80%. I think the reason is not 80. on there. Yeah, 80. The reason is not on there. I think it's because the platform is not working to 100%. My, my diploma is not here. Don't, don't worry, man. We'll get it to you. You will have a diploma. You will have a certificate. You only need 80%. I already, I escalated the issue. So it's not only to you. It's happening to a lot of people. Um, with this class, there's a couple who have over 90%, Madeline, and they still cannot claim the certificate. So 90. Yeah. 90. I need 90. No, 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 no. There are there are classmates that have over 90 and they still cannot get it. I have so, 98 right now. 98. All right. And 98. you still can't see it, right? You still can't see it? No. Yeah. Max, so. what do you have? Do you have the diploma? No, it's not appearing. I need it. You, but you can ask for it. Yeah, you're through, gonna get it through WhatsApp. Yes, Madeline. You can request it through WhatsApp, or you can request it through the email that you receive. Don't worry, we're gonna get it to you, Maddie. Maddie. Don't worry, you're gonna have a certificate. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, guys, I wanted to go back and touch up on some of these. This is is and are plus the part plus the plus past participles. Is is or are. And so I wanted to just kind of show you guys the video right quick and then kind of have a little discussion about it. See where we're at. So let me go ahead and push the play. Passive to the scrap process. Get your notebook and get ready to take notes. The passive to describe process. Is are plus past participle. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. With this in mind, we will use the basic passive. In other words, B plus past participle. Work with me on this first sentence. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Did you notice the use of B plus past participles? We may also use passive with models. This is the rule. Model plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Are you able to describe a short process? You may use first, next, then, and after to help you out. All right, so in this one, is it's basically talking about- A scene isn't filmed just once. Using is or are, or using the model plus the B plus the past participle, in order for you guys to be able to describe it. So now, I don't know if you guys remember that there was uh, there was some earlier modules that described the passive, right? So I wanted to touch up with you guys on that because we have, with the passive voice, we have present, we have past, we have 
com you know, uh, let me see, present, past. And I believe with this one, we had maybe seen, I, I don't remember if we did it completely or maybe just a couple of exercises. But this one here works on just using the passive voice, okay? And so for this one, you get to choose what is it that we wanna use. And we, we're using the present and we're using the past and two different scenarios, right? For example, number one, they grow rice in India, okay? Is it rice are grown in India or rice is grown in India? It's grown. Rice is grown in India, okay? So remember how we are using are or is or you can uh, you can use is not but but you're still using just is right so this is the present here now in the past they sent an email to the partners it's a little bit different right because you are no longer using the is or the are you are using either was or where so there is a difference between using your passive voice to represent the present and to represent the past. And so just be careful out there when you guys are talking, what is it that you want to say and what is the sentence that you want to imply? Are you talking about the now or are you talking about the past? If you're talking about the now, you can use is or are. If you are talking about the past, you might have to use something a little bit different. You might have to use was or were, depending on what it is that you want to say. So be careful with these, all right? And then this one here was just the exercise to complete the whole thing, right? So we're not, we're not really gonna get too much into them. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, um, do you guys have any questions in regards to any any portions of the sections that you might want to review real quick? Everybody okay? Is everybody all right? All right. Well, I'll give you guys back about four minutes of your time. Please remember, we have two days left. Try to do the most that you can to complete the sections and to get as close to 100% completion as possible. I will keep asking my admin to see what's going on with the certificates, but you will receive your certificates. So don't worry about that. All right, everybody. I think that's it for tonight. Have a wonderful night. See you guys tomorrow and rest as much as you can. Okay, good night, teacher. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 See you tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow.